Okay, we're here at Seatop Techies, uh, back with another video. Uh, today we're in Vienna at the, uh, let's say, the future of manufacturing at Seatop. Now, uh, we're gonna take a look around to see what that means, but I brought an expert with me. Standing beside me is uh, Benedict. He's the system architect for this uh, topic, and he's gonna lead us a bit through what we're looking at. Now, um, Benedict, thanks so much for coming. Thanks for Thank being you. here. Um, what do we have behind us? Yeah, you see here our brand new full automated assembly line. So we produce here our select products and we have designed it as a peer-to-peer -peer network. So it's a completely decentralized production system. And the glue for making that working is the digital screen of the products. So all stations are completely autonomous of the network. Okay. And if a workpiece passes a station, it looks, can it produce it? If so, it loads the workpiece, makes the production steps. If not, then it passes the station and then the next station can do the ascending steps that are missing. Okay. So for our viewers, um, we were at a different uh, manufacturing station. Go check out that video about the uh, PSU 6200. Uh, and there we learned a little bit more of how traditional manufacturing looks. Now, what you're saying about this peer-to-peer, -peer, how does that differ from what we may have seen at the other station? So the processes are basically the same, but the main difference is the scalability and the flexibility. So okay. first of all, you can simply duplicate a station. So if there is a huge yeah, order, then mm -hmm. we simply can scale it up. We simply plug a different station to that system. Mm -hmm. And if the orders decreases, so if the number of required work pieces decrease, then we can simply remove it. I think this is one of the main advantages of that system here. I, I think what I learned as well there, I mean, we have an incredible efficient process, but uh, you know, it's defined for a certain capability. That means the overhead of changing that, let's say it's uh, X amount. But here we're talking about just the ability to plug in modules and then dynamically scale up or scale down functionality or say uh, capacity. Exactly, and this is possible due to the digital twin. So the stations do not know of each other. They okay. simply look what has to be done with the purpose and can it provide the skills that are required for it. If so, it does it. If not, then it yeah, simply passes to the next station. So you've mentioned digital twin a few times. I got to ask, um, how core is that element to this concept peer to peer? Yeah, it's, it's the decor element. So <laughs> okay. There is every product step that has to be executed on that station here, on that assembly line, that is documented in that uh, digital twin. So okay. it's written there, has it to be lasered, has it to be tested, uh, has it to be packaged, and so on. So we have all that different kind of production steps. They are documented in the digital twin. Okay. So it's like the recipe for the product. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, we're standing here. Um, maybe you can give a second. What do we see right behind us as an example? This is the laser graving station. So here we put all the labels on our yeah, products. So the rubber takes the workpiece, puts it to the laser. Then we have there also some optical inspection. So we check if that what is, should be in the product, is really in the product. Okay. And the next step, we simply yeah, mount the inspection window or glass on our workpiece. We right. also check that with some sensors, if it's positioned correctly, and afterwards the next station can take it and make the next production step. Wow, okay, and then, like I said before, the, the module, that's a module, and if we were to say, okay, we need to double that capacity, we could just slip, you know, produce that module, plug it into this one, and we could then double our output on exactly. that station. Yeah. We did that already for our testing stations, wow. but you can do that for all the other stations. All the other you stations. can also go the way back, so you can also remove some stations if they are not required anymore. Okay, okay. Hey, um, thank you so much for taking the time. This is really exciting to see this, not just in theory, but also in practice, really manufacturing our select products today. Yeah. Um, uh, again, thanks so much, and uh, to our viewers, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it's really great to share some of the innovations that are going on in our manufacturing side. So stay tuned, we're always looking to bring more. See you guys.